for Showtime, the electronic sell-through model is, is, a, is a very unique because our content, we're, our, our network is only available in 16 and a half million, or we only have 16 and a half million subs. So our content is still very fresh to most consumers. We're not available in 100 million households. So when we put our content up on iTunes, um, there's a real demand for it because people have heard about these shows, but they may not be subscribers. So it's really the first time, of the, first time digitally that they can access our shows. YouTube's a very, it's, it's a very strong marketing vehicle for us. We've been, we were early players with um, YouTube. Um, we or don't talk about this often, but we're the third most viewed entertainment channel on YouTube of all time, and we have the third most viewed video clip of all time on YouTube with a one of our video bloggers called Les Barato, who um, blogs about uh, our series The L Word, and it's it's just a great. We're an entertainment. We're an entertainment company. We're a, a channel, and video is very important for us. And YouTube is the largest video destination out there, so it's just a perfect marriage between us and them as a place to put our content and uh, but what we have done and focused on over the last couple of years is to try to create content that we think would work well from a viral perspective and I know everybody talks about viral and it's a very tricky thing but um, I think if you look at you know the number of views that we get on our content and you see how we rank within within the YouTube family I think we're, we're doing really well with it and in a flash of a dash of a moment worlds collide Clouds change, cracking open, skies deranged. So there's been a lot of uh, angry comments about the end of the L season, the L word. The L word's finished. Yes. Uh, but it lives on online. So the L word lives on uh, after, the, uh, after the series finale. So there was a, a murder in the last season that was unresolved. And so we're continuing the, uh, the series online where we're doing the uh, police interrogation tapes of all the suspects for the murder. And then we'll have a, um, a final episode with an interview with the creator of the show, Eileen Chaikin, where she'll be speaking about the murder itself and you know, kind of resolving a lot of outstanding questions around the season finale. Do you think you're